Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and welcome back to Chain Echoes. After last time, I went back to Oak Grain Grottoes and also a few other places in the world and didn't succeed in finding new stuff that I thought I was trying to look for. And so what I've decided to do is to come back to Ramus Tower uh, because at the end of the previous place we were in, we had an elevator key that will work the elevator in here. Use elevator key to head to the first floor. Alright, so previously we'd only been in the middle of the tower and up on the top. And so now we're somewhere new. And I can use Sky Armor in here, and so I should probably do that. In case there are baddie McBattertons. And there's a door one, a door two, and a way to go here. Oh, hello, boxes. 600! <laughs> Avelia and Sword and Shield. Wow! Wish I, I guess I couldn't have come here much earlier. Um, Sky Armor. Ovelia, that is for you. That's a nice upgrade. And Sword and Shield. 400 goes to 600. Oh, that's a huge upgrade. Neat. Neat. Okay. Uh, those are both the treasure chests there. I'm just curious now. Are one and two gonna lead me to different maps or just like separate little rooms? Oh, they kind of connect around in weird ways. Uh, one. Well, <laughs> it's hard to anticipate. Main paths versus dead ends. Ooh, there's a shiny box over there. So I'll just kind of go where things take me. Oh, it's gonna be a big convoluted map. Okay, let's not go onto that map yet. Let's try to finish this one first, since there's three treasure chests on it. And despite the vines, I can still fly around all this stuff. And this just brings me over here. Okay, so I definitely need to go back to number two, is what I'm hearing. So, door number two has brought me over here. Oh, something's guarding a box. What do we got today? Um... Let's start with the command vents. All right, everybody's got a defense buff. And let's go ahead and defense break one of the auto knights. And then what are they weak to? They're weak to water. So let's have Glenn, let's go into uh, energy flow so you can Multi-target while there's three of these guys. Alright, these guys hit pretty hard. You have a water shot. So let's start doing the thing. 4,000, very nice. And... Yeah, I think let's focus fire. Nice, one down. And now you could use a light shot and hit both of them. Withered arrows. Uh-oh. We're really low. <laughs> How about Victor steps it up into gear two and does a repair at all? That seems to work. And this guy's a little bit lower, so we'll water shot on him. And then another Hornet Dance. Didn't quite take it out, but that's okay, because Glenn can still auto-target both of them. Ancient Carcass. And at this point, four versus one can just go all out. Don't need to worry about overheating. Just need to finish the battle. Hooray. Merlin 600. Neat. I believe that is for Victor. Oops. Yeah. Very nice. And there's another chest up here that I saw. Two chests. Neat. Offensive drones and elemental cannon 600. Wow. So. Yeah, you're currently using the offensive drones. Yeah, and they're okay. The uh, elemental cannon is also... Pretty good, I think. 
And you currently have Elemental Cannon 400, so 600 is going to be a huge upgrade. There we go. Okay, that is great stuff. I'm glad to have this. I was struggling in previous Sky Armor battles, and now I think I will struggle less. So now I'm back to door three. It looks like there's a dead end up here. With a chest, Paris 600. That's an upgrade for you. All right, we like upgrades. And then it looks like there's a door five to the south. But first, ooh, another new enemy. Um, there's also something called Shields Up. Absorbs damage with a potency of one for four turns all. Let's try it out. HP Shield. Neat. Um, are you guys weak to anything? Water, water, and fire. All right, so Glenn, just use a piercer, and let's go after the auto knights first. I know I can take them down in two or three shots. Okay, that shield is pretty good. They're dealing a whole lot less damage. Um, Victor, why don't you defense break the golem knight? Or when I go after him next? Oh gosh, he hits hard. And Petraz use a water shot on the Auto Knight. That hits really hard, great. Um, Hornet Dance would finish you off. There's a chance that Leg Sweep would as well, especially if you go into Gear 2. So let's try Leg Sweep and see if we get lucky. Not enough to finish off the Auto Knight. Um, I think I'll move on to starting to hit this guy. That might be a mistake. Yeah, we're barely surviving. I think we'll do okay. Um, let's do a repair all. Let's actually do it in gear two. All right, Petraz can now fire shot the golem. Sienna can leg sweep and that'll finish off the first auto knight. There we go. Glenn can just pierce her the golem. Oh, see. I see. The uh, Auto Knight ended up healing the Golem, so I guess I should go after the Auto Knight first. Now uh, the Golem's almost down despite that, so let's just focus on the Golem, try to take him down, because he deals a lot of damage. Um, guess I might as well bring back Glenn. Oh, I just realized I'm going to overheat. That's not good. Um, nevertheless, four versus one, the overheat shouldn't matter. So let's not worry about it and just go all out to finish off this guy. And everything will be hunky dory. I have declared it. And you can just smash. There we go. Great. Uh, how am I doing on SP and stuff? Uh, no one's overflowing just yet. We got a treasure chest, great sword, 600. So that's a big upgrade for you. Great. <laughs> great sword. Um, oh, I can't go that way. So it seems like I have to go through five or come back. There is another door to four that I could take. But there's also another door to six that I can take, which would swing me back around to the north there. Okay, so I will take the sixth door if I can. And it looks like that I can. So this brings me here. Nothing there. Uh, there's a single golem here. <laughs> Guess I might have done things kind of out of order. Alright, we'll just wail on him with all our best stuff. Piercer hit for 63 something. Now that we've just upgraded that weapon. He just healed himself for 8,000. Don't know that that was a great idea. Because he's just giving me a chance to overwhelm him. 
I don't know that he had a good strategy. I guess his strategy could be to uh, get my team to overheat. <laughs> Which it seems like is about to happen. However, we managed to defeat him first. Hooray! So, there's not a chest here. And this just brings me back to door four. And on this side of door four, were there any chests over here? Uh, nope. Okay, so there was no reason to come back through here. That's fine. So, continuing on towards door number seven, there's a treasure chest behind... Ooh, four enemies. This will actually be a worthy battle. Um, I think I should use energy flow for the multi-targeting. I think Sienna should probably use command defense. Betraz needs to cool us down by using, I guess, a uh, water shot on one of these guys. And Victor... Yeah, I think he has to go ahead and gear up into gear 2 to repair us. Just to make sure we don't overheat. Okay, and then... I think let's just start focusing fire. Alright, that was good damage. Um, light or dark, it doesn't really matter. This will hit all of them. And it killed one. Oh, and I got a counterattack ram. That's a good one. I might want to actually use that ram. Uh, do I want to repair all, or do I... I think I'm going to offensive break the Golem Knight because he hits super hard. The other guys I'm not as worried about. And let's try to finish this guy off. Hooray! And... Yeah, it's still worth hitting both. That's like 5,000 damage. I guess the Piercer probably would have done about that as well. You might get a chance to find out. There's a counterattack. Counterattacks are good. Alright, 5,000 damage there. And... Victor Smash! I see. Glenn was still in gear 1. Oops. That was a little bit foolish of me. Probably could have ended this battle a little bit sooner. Oh, I used a water shot. That was the wrong thing to use, but it's fine. 28 SP and an Agamemnon. Sky armor. Settings. Is anyone using an Ag Agamemnon? No. And everybody has 600s. And we're just going to double check that Agamemnon... Yeah, the Balthazar is still better. So Glenn can keep wearing that. Okay, this would be a good place to go ahead and drop a quick save. Since we've made some progress for 15 minutes or so. Alright, and it looks like there's nothing here. Where are we eventually going? Head down? Yes. So previously we went down to the first floor, so... Are we underground now? Let's find out. Oh! Those look like the sandworms of the... This is the Ogren Grotto. This is how we get to this one screen that I couldn't get to. How interesting. I can't put on sky armor in here. And... My formation... Is... Oh, I guess I did have this formation set up with some other stuff I was doing. Um, I'd prefer to have Petraz here. Okay, that's fine. So what do we find over here? Uh, oh, that's the boat! 
That's the Sharon boat that I've been looking for. Before I go there, it looks like I might be able to open a shortcut over this way, because there's a fast travel point over to the left. Look at these statues. I saw these same statues in the upper left of the Ograin Grotto, I think, surrounding pedestals where it seemed like I was going to have to place six items to do something. I know not what. Uh, also, there's a treasure chest on that screen. But yeah, what do we have down here? There's a mouse merchant? Oh, he sells incubin berries. I currently don't have any, and they're, like, super cheap. So in case I need some later, let's buy those. And what else do you sell? Um, oh, you sell this stuff. Um, I currently own a bunch of it. It's good to know it's here. Ooh, Golden Voucher, Diving Bell, Rusty Greatsword, and Dair's Sword. Show it to the Merchant and Hooge to receive access to your best gear for your sky. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, I want that. All right. So I'm going to take that. Diving Bell. Reach the Firening Village in Ark. Oh, okay. This is good stuff from this merchant. I'll take that. Rusty Greatsword. I definitely can enhance that with the Stole of Farnese, I have to imagine. And the core of the Seraph Armor, Day Year, it off unlocks full potential. A mechanist and Hooge might know more about it. Great. Um, I want that too. Okay, I found a way to spend money profitably. <laughs> that's a lot of my money, uh, but that's fine. It's there to be spent on good things. And so you unlock the door. Great. So I have been on the other side of this, and now presumably I have two-way travel. That is fantabulous. So I need to go back to the Hooge in order to do some equipment upgrade stuff there. There's a treasure chest on the screen. Well, maybe the boat is going to take me to it. And I don't know what's going to happen when we hop in the boat, and so even though I just saved not long ago... Let's save again. That verifies that we are in the Ograin Grottoes. There's an urn full of coins. The opening is too small to put your hand inside. What do you do? Throw the Sharon coin into it. And now we're here. I see. That's how I get down here. Okay. I'd seen this map, but not been over here. Oh, and a fast travel location. Hooray! I like fast travel. It is the best. Is it really the best? It's good. I'm not sure that it's the best. I might have overstated. Um, there's a place to jump down, which looks like it's going to lead to some kind of exit, and I can always fast travel back to the other spot. So let's jump down and realize that we'll just be jumping down again. A long, long way. Oh, wow. Where am I now? I'm off the map and in darkness. I'm scared. Someone hold me. Um, we Sova are not made for cavernous caves. Are you afraid? Can't you see perfectly in the dark? That's the problem. I see every strange creature here. I wish I were blind. Now you're scaring me. He actually said I wish I was blind. Uh, but I'm pretty sure if you're going to be speaking in hypotheticals like that, you use the subjunctive mood. So it would be, I wish I were. It's hard to see anything. I wish I'd eaten more carrots. Carrots? They improve your eyesight. How many do you have to eat? At least one a day. They turn your skin orange. Then you look like an orange or a carrot. What kinds of conversations are these? Yes, Sienna way to read my thoughts. It's very unusual, some of the conversations that are had by my party. Um, I'm just kind of following the left wall for right now. Hey, a treasure chest! Scholars have it. Um, that might be an upgrade for someone. I have a feeling that there's seven treasure chests in here that I can do a lot of equipment upgrades at once. Okay, so these things light up. Oh, inventory full! <gasps> That's a thing that can happen? 
I did not know that. I need to combine more of my crystals. And I can't combine them without an anvil. So that's unfortunate. Um, can I teleport out of here? I can. I think I'm actually going to uh, go combine some crystals and then come right back because we're really near a teleport spot. So pardon me while I do some things off camera. Okay, so I spent a bunch of time working on that. I can now say definitively that the um, crystal system is garbage. <laughs> um, it's just so bad. Um, it's so tedious to use. Like, there's a menu of, like, a hundred things, and it's like, what do you want to combine? And you select this one, and it says, what do you want to combine it with? And then you go through the list, and none of them fit. Um... And, yeah, there's like 4,000 properties, and it's like, which ones do I want? Well, I would like crit and agility. Well, you've got 4,000 crystals, but you only have one of each of those. Um, all right. In any case, enough complaining. I did some of that. Now I'm going to come back up here. That's where I got the treasure chest. We've retraced our steps. I am recording again, right? Yeah. Okay. And those crystals are still already gone. I did some combining of crystals. And there's some light over here. Uh, who is that? I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess we gotta find out, right? So, who are you? You're someone who acts twice. And knowing nothing, Victor gets to go first. Let's start with the heroic ode. All right, we're all very heroic. And then let's start with an armor break. Shell and Twitone. Twitone acts twice, so let's try to take out Twitone. And let's give it a status effect, as we do. Petraz got paralyzed. I see, so you have para paralysis darts. So that is no good. Um, Petraz, it says, is paralyzed. But it's also letting him go. I forget exactly what paralyzed does then. Like, if I try to do something, will it work? Let's just try and find out. It still lets me do it. All right, this is not super great. Um, I guess I am laying a good bit of damage. It's weak to light. I just noticed. All right, definitely skipping some turns due to paralysis. Let's go ahead and get some damage over time then. So toxic shot. Um. Let's put it on Shell, and I'll see if I can Pandemic it over later, possibly. But I might just be able to finish off the Twitone, twi whatever it's called. Alright, some people are losing Paralysis, some people are gaining it. Shadow Masks. We're not taking that much damage, so that's one good thing. And yeah, this thing's going to be dead. Absorb Shell's HP. 5,000. Interesting. So maybe that thing is invincible until I take out Shell? Possibly. Okay, all these negative status effects. Yeah, 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 I understand. Ah, Sienna went back down. Okay, so you can Toxic Shot the guy in the back. Oh, it missed. Were you blinded? I should have paid attention. That's my own fault. So, Glenn's got nothing. Len also has nothing. I guess there's items, uh, panacea, no. Is there something that like cures everything? I don't know that there is. So who can even deal damage at this point? 
Or I guess, actually, hmm. If I used eye drops and got rid of the blindness, then Rob could deal damage, which is what I'd like to do. It looks like it's about to wear off anyway, but I'm going to do this. And then... I need to get rid of my overheat. So let's do this. Weakness damage, always good. Absorb shell HP. Yeah, I... Mm. I don't know what the gimmick is in this fight. I'm not enjoying it at all. Alright, and so... You have Toxic, you don't. So, I mean, I guess I could hit you. But I think I'm basically dead and I'm just gonna avoid this battle. Alright, I died. Okay, so that was no fun. I did see that the autosave was right before I was standing away from them. So I'm actually going to load the autosave in this case, because I think they're just to the right and I'm not within range of them just yet. Yeah. And we're just going to go another way. We don't have a map in here. And so let's see if I can find somewhere else to go to get out of this awful place. Uh, apparently I've already been here. So what happens if I go this way? I don't believe I've been this way. And I find something I can climb. We did it! And I climbed back up to here. This is going to be a soul far and easy, isn't there? Yeah! Okay, that's the one chest that's been on the screen for forever. Can I teleport out of here? I can! Hooray! <laughs> okay, I did not enjoy that at all. Um, there were other places that I could go. Over here. So let's teleport back here. Let's uh, save. Now that we are quote-unquote safe. Oh! Uh, these are just cave bats, right? Um, I think these are like no problem at all. I might be wrong. It's a vampire bat. Okay. Um, how much damage do I deal with Yokogiri against these guys? A fair amount. Blood Drain. I feel like I might have fought these guys once a long time ago. Uh, are they weak to anything? They're weak to light. We'll just use a uh, wind jump so that we can hit all of them. And I don't think uh, Tom Key's ever tried to eat one of these guys. So I should totally do that when I have an opportunity. Um, I think I'm dealing enough damage this way that things will work out. Uh, what I say, they're weak to light, so yeah, definitely hit him with the light claymore. That's good damage. And then we definitely need to pandemic to spread the toxic to all of them. Okay, that is great. So now I just need to survive, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to win this. Uh, Sienna still has plenty of HP, however... Vampire Bat on the left could be eaten, I believe. So let's attempt it. Uncanny Encounter. Vampire. No new skill to remember. Alright. I tried. They're all taking dot damage. Tomki absorbed some hits. So he's being useful in that regard. Uh, wind Jump would hit all of them, which is still fine with me. Light Claymore then might take out at least one of them. So I'm going to keep doing that even though I'm overheating. And the party is at risk. It did kill one. Didn't it? Oh, maybe it didn't. Um, I could... I think it's better just to swap back to Sienna. Well, yeah, let's swap back to Sienna. Is there anything I can steal from you guys? There is not. Okay, so we're just going to keep being overheated. 
And yeah, I killed somebody. Uh, a barrage of arrows might kill somebody else. You've got a very good weapon. It did kill somebody else. Great. And then someone else might die of toxic. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so that was a messy battle. But it was a messy battle that we won. He says before the battle is over. There we go. Now we actually won it. Okay. That was sloppy, but worked out fine. Okay, two ways to go around this little circle. There's some crystals that I can afford to pick up in my inventory briefly until they overflow. Worthless pieces of garbage that I hate. Um, explore most of the area. That's good. However, I just realized there's a hidden... I should... Yeah, it's right here. A rock that I can open up to find a secret passage. According to my little thing in the bottom left. Bloodstones. All right. Those are resources for upgrading. And then down here, it looks like this is spiraling inwards, but there's also places I can hop down. Oh, 5,000 accumulated damage. What are you? Hanadol. I don't know that I like this. Let's go ahead and I guess start doing a bunch of debuffs. Oh, 41, 43 accumulated damage. So what's going to happen when it gets down to zero? I mean, I guess we'll find out soon. With luck. Oh, all these numbers come out. I see it hits us back with whatever we didn't hit it with. And I got a butterfly ribbon. All right, that's an interesting gimmick. Um... I'm going to save again, because that felt like a battle that could have easily gone another way. And then I would have regrets. Because there's a place to climb down over there as well. So there's many ways to get down into the next ledge. Oh my goodness, look at all these guys. Um, is it worth any other type of buff here? It could be. You're going to take a lot of hits probably, so let's do a counter stance. And I think their Heroic Ode is actually really good. And then yeah, uh, I could just use an Ultra Move, but I'm pretty sure I can win this without it. So we'll use Wind Jump. I feel like if I can get through the first round or two of this battle, everything's going to be fine. So let's just make sure we endure the beginning. Okay, so Sienna can Yokogiri. And she'll start building up some hate, and so they'll want to attack her, and then she'll counterattack, and that'll be good. You definitely want to use Light Claymore. It's going to cool us down. It's a weakness damage. It's basically my best attack right now. Uh, Len has problems. She's got more than problems. Let's go ahead and do another Yokogiri. I guess Victor could bring her back, probably. There's a counterattack. Nice, for an extra 604 damage. There's a counterattack. Nice, for an extra 307. Okay, the counter stance was definitely uh, totally worth it. Um... So let's have you bring Len back. Because we need four people in this battle, I'm pretty sure. Okay, we are overheating. That is a problem. And... It is a problem. Do you have anything good to use? You do. So let's swap out to Tom Key and just hit him with water. And that'll cool us down. And also just deal some mass damage. And then Betraz, this will cool us down and this might actually kill someone. Uh, it didn't actually kill anyone, that's a shame. 
And then Len could hit everybody, but she's about to die, and so I think it makes sense to actually switch to Glenn and just start taking him out one by one. So who's lowest? You're pretty low. This should kill you. Yeah, one down. Great. Uh, Patraz just went down. That's a shame. Overdrive is doing okay. That'll actually do a fair bit of damage, so I'm going to do another Freak Wave. That's another 1,000 damage points. Uh, Victor, why don't you swap out for Rob, who still has all of his HP? And you can just unleash a barrage of arrows. Nice, got some crits. Uh, Glenn. This one you could definitely take out. Just want to make sure I get one more off the battlefield. Okay, this was non-trivial, uh, but not too bad. I just had to not make an awful mess of it, I think. And then I think a barrage of arrows might finish them off. Freak Wave probably won't. Oh, it did! Alright, great. Another battle won. And another save point dropped. So what else do we have over here? Various bits and bobs. I see a treasure chest over there. A bridge over there. Looks like both of these lead to dead ends. There's lots of crystals. Rainbow ore, that's good stuff. My crystals will probably like overflow again. I did see this rock. So let's hope there's a treasure chest in here. Found all the hidden caves. Money! Oh, that's good. Money is one of the requirements for upgrading certain thingamajousits. So am I one layer down now? I'm kind of a couple, so I never came down here before. I could have jumped down here immediately, and there's treasure chest. Great. Ancient carcass. It's another material for some of the final upgrades, I think. Uh, I could have... Okay, so there's shortcuts that basically you could take the ladders and things down in order to not have to circle all the way around. So that's nice. These still fit in my inventory. That's also nice. And there's only three of these guys. Oh, but there's also... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. How do I deal as much damage as possible to the 5,000 accumulated damage, folks? Um, are they weak to anything? They're not. Who deals more, Victor or Rob? Victor with the pressure point actually does deal a lot of damage. That's 1,000 less damage that I'm going to take. You should probably do this, because you'll hit both of them. Alright, so that's another 2,000 less damage I'm going to take, because you hit each for 1,000. Glenn... I mean, Cross Slash would be your best bet. And I wonder if I can destroy one before it actually gets a chance to hit me. Uh, Patraz. This one's down to 40 accumulated damage. So in that case, I can probably just light clay more and I'll hit both and presumably the one won't explode on me. And so now it's just a matter of how much accumulated damage is on this other one. And it's still got 3,000. I think with all the vampires in play, I still need the Yokogiri. I don't think the Kesa is going to do all that much more. All right, that was another... Okay, so I'm only going to take, like, 2,000 accumulated damage. So hopefully I can survive it. Uh, I did not survive it. Rats. <laughs> okay. Do I think I could play that any differently? Um, I don't think I could. So we're going to load an autosave and hope it was somewhere decent. Uh, I'm back over here. 
and I'd already opened that chest. Okay, great. Um, so I can't take that battle right now, at least not with this party. So... I think I need to try to, like, upgrade some more equipment. Is there anything else I could do that would... I could use an Ultra Move? I could use an Ultra Move from Glenn right at the beginning. That might work. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place a manual save right here before this. And we'll see if an ultra move from Glenn... And is there anyone else who can do... Who just like has, has a big opener that would deal a ton of damage? Uh, yes. Instead of Victor, I could have Micah. She literally has something called opener. That's pretty good. And speaking of... Is it as uh, upgraded as it could be, Micah? Um, I'm trying to get to Micah here. Here we go. Opener. I can level it up. So it deals 3.5 damage. That seems good. And then... I guess let's try that. So, Sienna, I do want a Yokogiri, because it hits both. Mike is going to use Opener. That's 1,700 damage. That's good. Glenn is going to use an Ultra Move. Kapow! Fifteen eighty, fifteen ninety. Okay, that's really good. Now we just have to endure some little bats. All right, Petraz is going to use Light Claymore, and now Sienna needs to check things out. You're basically almost out of damage. You still have a thousand. If I Yoko Giri, I'll waste some of it. And this is going to be my last opportunity. I think Yoko Giri is the right thing to do, and I think Glenn is going to survive. And possibly some other folks. I only got 7-11 on the bottom guy. That's a problem. The crit ended up in the wrong spot. So this is 1,200 damage. Yeah, it wasn't enough. If the bottom guy had gotten crit, I think that would have worked. So, I think I'm going to retry this battle and see if I can get lucky. Okay, I survived this time. I gave Micah the Swift Sandals accessory, which allows her to go first, and so she got two opening moves against each of the Hano dolls. And so, I might be able to survive now. So let's go ahead and swap. And raise. Glenn did use his ultra move. And so at this point, how are these guys looking? Uh, this one's pretty worse for wear, so I'm going to see if I can manage to take it off the battlefield soon. Good. And Sienna's still in good shape. And so at this point... Uh, Micah's almost dead, so I should definitely swap you out for Rob. And I think Rob, at this point, uh, Toxic could still be worth it. So let's see if I can Toxic in Pandemic. But at this point, I think I am going to win this battle. Yokogiri will cool us down. That's fantastic. And deal a bunch of damage. That's also good. And Glenn... I guess you could work on this guy, or you could swap out. Uh, let's actually... Len can cool us down and deal damage to everybody, so let's do that. Alright, and then Yoko Giri. Uh, we're not going to be able to Pandemic because the guy I Toxic is going to be dead, but the good news is uh, it just means that we're winning the battle overall. Uh, you could just do a multi-shot, sure. 
with your crazy gun. That even killed somebody. Good job. Okay. So yeah. Some of it was luck, some of it was using the clever idea of the swiftness sandals so that my uh, super first hit character could get openers on both of them. Um, so let's go ahead and save that progress. And then I'm now up here. There's a dead end to the right with a chest. Divine wool, great. And then finally down here, oh, it's a door into one of these memory places that I loathe. Fantastic. And there's something behind it, it looks like. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess I just saved. I think this is probably a good place to call it an episode. And if what's inside that door is another one of those puzzle mazes, I'm just going to do it on my own and meet you guys at the end. So we'll see what happens for the beginning of the next episode. But I'm going to say I hope everybody's having a great day, and I'll see you again soon for more Chant Echoes. For now, bye-bye.